And now, Phillipsburg Broadcasting proudly presents Good Morning, Mr. Governor, with Francis Cardi. Good morning, Mr. Governor. Condominium sales was replaced by timesharing properties. With the demise of the condominium sales of available rooms in the late 1970s, came the timesharing real estate sales concept that was popular in tourism markets like Hawaii, Orlando, Florida, and many other places throughout the Caribbean. And a Dutch accountant by the name of Martin Vlietman bought the Pelican property to develop the first timesharing property on the island of St. Martin. The concept of buying a vacation at a percentage of what it would have cost them to purchase a condominium in a place that they like to visit more frequently, this resort development concept became the number one way for developers to make money while at the same time attracting potential investors and vacationers to the island. It was, and to a large extent remains, to be a winning formula for the island's tourism industry and its frequent visitors. But like everything good, there's always someone who sees a way to spoil the market with negative energies and intentions. These negatives have already caused the island all kinds of negative publicity and ills among existing timeshare owners. And it's past time for the island's red, white, and blue coalition government in parliament to resolve these negatives with a timeshare protection legislation that will restore confidence back into the island's timeshare industry. Good morning, Mr. Governor. That was Good Morning, Mr. Governor by Francis Cardi.